Your Honor, before I begin, permission to approach the bench and retrieve previously admitted evidence. Surely. Uh, states to the American Race Institute. Thank you. May I proceed? Good afternoon. Please introduce yourself to the members of the jury, spelling your last name for the record. My name is Tyler Hartman. Hartman is H-A-R-T-M-A-N. Ms. Hartman, what do you do for a living? Well, I actually used to work at Rock the World back in the day, and I used to do a lot of odd jobs as well. But last year, I won the lottery, 63 million. So now I really don't have to do much of anything, and I spend all my winnings and time at Rock the World. Uh, what is Rock the World, Ms. Hartman? Rock the World is an amusement park that is like the best place on earth. I go there all the time and I love it there. Since you go there all the time, you would be familiar with the bracelets that they sell there, right? Yes, and I've been collecting them for years. They're so pretty, I love them. So if I shown you a few of them, you would recognize that, of course, right? Absolutely, yes. Your Honor, uh, let the record reflect that I'm Kenny Witness States too. Hey, Ms. Hartman. Thank you. What I hand you? These are the bracelets that are sold at the park. Now, I want to focus on the, the one that looks kind of purplish. Now, uh, what, what is this bracelet? This is the regular uh, admission. It's $20, and it's just your standard admission at the park. Now, I want to focus on another one. Uh, can you show the members of the jury another bracelet? Uh, yes. This one is the World Tour Pass, and this is the one that I always get. It's $35 and it gives you the special treatment for the public. Now, I want to focus on the last one now. Uh, what is this bracelet that you've collected? This bracelet is like a world tour, but it just ain't right. I mean, it's not the same. Well, can you tell the members of the jury how it's not right? Well, as you can tell, it's kind of faded, and there ain't no numbers on it, and uh, I never liked these because they feel like I was breaking a real cheap lock. Now, Ms. Hummer, let me ask you a question. When did you begin to collect the one that's not right? All right. This one I started collecting in 2012. Now, in 2012, who was the one handing out these bracelets? Uh, Cameron Poole for the ticket Now, how who was Cameron Poole, Ms. Hartman? Cameron Poole uh, worked at the park, as I said. He worked the ticket booth and was uh, with Bowman's friend. And um, they would seem to be hanging out, like, all the time. Now, you, you mentioned Whip Bowman. Now, who is she? Whip Bowman was also working at the park, and uh, we used uh, to hang out like all the time, but when Cameron came around, as I said, they would be hanging out, and I heard some conversations that they would Now, since you've gone to Rock World a lot, do you know what job uh, Miss Bowman had in the year 2012? Yes, she was a ride operator. Now, you just mentioned a second ago that Whip Bowman and Karen Poole would talk about. Uh, were you ever around when they were talking? Yes, this one conversation that I heard, um, I heard them talking and Cameron was complaining to Whit about how he needed money. Uh, was this the only conversation you heard over the summer? No, I heard some others as well. Uh, another time I was in a locker room and I heard and saw some things. Now you said you heard and saw some things, but what did you see in the locker room? Well, I, I heard some, some people come in, and technically I wasn't supposed to be in the locker room, so I hid in the bathroom stall, and I climbed up on the toilet, and I looked through a little slit, and um, I saw some things through there. Well, Ms. Hartman, what did you see? I can't be 100% certain, because uh, like I was crouched down, there was a slit, and I had my stilettos on, I wasn't going to go for a swim in that toilet. So. But I, work, I can't be certain, but I think I saw, like, uh, Whit had this uh, like blue handle. I thought it might have been, like, a bottle opener or something like that, and that's what I saw. Now, you said you heard some things in the room, too. What did you hear? Well, I, um, I, heard, I heard just, like, Cameron and Whit talking. Now, well, what did Karen Poole say? Uh, Cameron was uh, just complaining and yelling. Okay, Ms. Hartman. I want to transition now to August 30th. Uh, you say you go to work rock board all the time. Were you there on that day? Yes, I was. I was there riding the rides as usual, get my thrill. And I was starting at the beginning of the park, and I ended that day at the Tunnel of Terror Ride, closing time. Uh, I want to talk to you about the end of your day at the Tunnel of Terror Ride. Uh, what did you see? Uh, it, was, it was real strange. I 
I was getting into the buggy, just ready to go, you know, and then BAM! I heard a gunshot escape my life. Okay, you said you heard a gunshot. When you heard this gunshot, Ms. Hartman, what, what did you see around you? Well, I saw somebody being chased by security, and together they ran into my moving ride. Now, you said you saw someone moving into your moving ride. Uh, who was that person? It was that take your booth operator, Cameron Poe. Now, you saw Cameron Poe being chased by security. What happened next? I saw him escape out the back door. Just to be clear, you, you said who escaped, Ms. Hartman? Cameron Poe. Your Honor, at this time, I have no further questions. Cross-examination, Your Honor.